Hey, hey, um, I'm Igra Glass, and this is the next uh, third chapter of our guide about Dungeon Crushers. If you didn't watch previous, you could watch them, they are very useful. Today we will talk about artifacts, and uh, it's uh, where you spend your souls. In my previous guide I told you about Dark Ritual and how to get these souls. So, how to spend it? I'll show you at two accounts newbie perspective and high level uh, character perspective so let's start with the basics i'll log into my uh, new account and after you made your first dark ritual you already could consider to put uh, your souls into artifacts first artifacts you will receive just from um, random caves during your Adventure, you will meet special uh, places, treasure caves. Uh, you also will receive some artifacts here in uh, adventures, PV adventures. Uh, but most of the artifacts you will get from buying. So these special artifacts, um, they are not counting, not counting to your main artifacts. The thing is that uh, each time you could buy one of the fourth artifacts three of them will be bought for souls for souls and one for hearts hearts it's currency from pvp arena battles so uh, there are only six such uh, pvp artifacts i'll show it a bit later but for now the most important um, concept is not to buy uh, artifacts which you just see here how I did when I was a new player. I just bought stuff and that's it. But the thing is that uh, you need to find proper artifacts to buy in the right order. Because each time when you buy a new artifact, all the artifact will become uh, more expensive. Let me show it to you. If I'll buy something from here for three uh, souls. Okay, I bought it. Next artifact will cost four souls and you could say okay it's not a big difference four four souls three souls but actually later on it will be thousands it will be hundred thousands so uh, the thing is that you should not buy artifacts and if you already bought it just reset it and uh, you wouldn't get everything back but 75 percent of souls you will get so it's quite solid thing and at the beginning of the game especially if you are like if you didn't pass 2000 level it's all right to reset artifacts don't afraid to do it so the thing is that you need at first to roll our right artifacts so you have to pay one soul just how, how to do it you push buy button then you see there this one it's selected it has green frame so if i push it once nothing selected and now i could reload artifacts and our goal at first is to find uh, one of two artifacts lamp of specter or uh, reaper of souls so yeah this is this one this is good artifact to buy to start so if you rolled artifacts a bit and you found this one you could buy it and after afterwards you could uh, it's good idea to continue roll till you find uh, this one soul reaper yes Sa reaper of souls soul reaper so this is the, the most important two artifacts and every player should start from them so uh, let me go now to my uh, main account and we will talk about all other artifacts. So I just wanted to show you. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> as you could see. As you could see. Next artifact to buy will cost already 8 souls. That's why it's important to buy these two artifacts. As soon as it is possible. Because you could be not lucky. And at the end you wouldn't have them. And it will be very hard to buy. So yeah. It's better to do it in such order to think about it in advance so let's uh, move to my main account and i'll just tell you about artifacts there are 
two artifacts which you shouldn't buy ever. So it's forbidden artifacts. It's called Mimic and Key of Demons. You shouldn't buy these artifacts ever. And you see, for me right now, when I bought all other artifacts and I have only two to choose one of the two, uh, they cost 100,000 uh, souls, which is quite a big amount for new player. So these two artifacts you shouldn't buy ever. Why? Because they will slow down your progress. Key of Demons, it will add a uh, chest which uh, you do not want, you do not need to defeat. So to just uh, so, so it will just uh, slow down your progress because you will spend more time by killing this chest. You do not need it. And another thing, a Mimic, which uh, will increase um, chest appearance at 20%. So if you have two, one of these artifacts, you should reset immediately. Just don't think even, just reset. So another uh, artifacts which some people prefer to have, some people uh, do not want to have, it's uh, Drum of Fear. This is very important thing. And uh, in my guide about uh, boss, boss event, I showed uh, the importance in one of my past uh, big guides. Uh, what I could say, if you, with each level, amount of, with each level of these artifacts, and it could have five levels, amount of levels which you should pass to get a new, uh, new stage, new level, amount of monsters reduced. So when you just uh, have a new account, you have to kill 10 monsters to move to another level. I have to kill five monsters. So I pass levels faster because of I have this artifact, Drum of Fear. It's good in terms of getting more souls. So with this uh, such way, I go through levels faster. So I uh, get much, much, much more souls. The thing is that uh, you need souls only at the beginning of the game. And later on, the most important thing will be crafting ingredients. And the thing is that if you have uh, this drum, yeah, you see this boss and he gave me like several thousand uh, souls. So the thing is that with this drum, when you will make time travel, and you will make a lot of time travels later on, especially at some events, uh, amount of resources would be much less. And certain resources, they are very critical because they give you possibility to craft potions and etc. So, yeah, you should uh, choose by yourself. Some people, they just do not prefer to buy it. So they have it here and they have Mimic, Cave Demons and Drum of Fear. And this is solid strategy. Uh, it's better in long term, I'll say. Uh, but if you, uh, if you're all right, uh, to if you just okay you could say if you're playing very actively if you play very actively drama fear you could level up drama fear if you play rare uh, then it's better to do not have drama fear i'll say so if you just came to the game twice per day do not level up drama fear it's, it's these three artifacts which uh, people are not sure should they level up or not uh, by the way yeah let me show first PvP artifacts, which you buy for uh, hearts. You see, I have right now 1,000 hearts. Let's spend them, by the way. Some artifacts, uh, when you spend, so when you spend resources, you just spend it one by one, you see? Uh, but some, each time when you level up it, price increases. So you see, right now, this one cost. Uh, 169 next upgrade will cost 170 next upgrade and it is true so uh, this th the same thing with souls artifacts you see right now it cost 7000 now it's 720 21 and it's see but certain artifacts when you just start to play um, you should level up as faster as you could 
uh, especially these uh, skill artifacts. There are type of artifacts which increase duration of your skills. So, it's, for example, this amulet arrow shooter, it's increased duration, uh, amulet war cry, amulet assassinations, and other stuff. What they do, they basically just increase um, how these skills last. And this is very nice thing. So, your first goal when you just start to play, yeah, level up lump of specters to increase uh, probability of finding specter and uh, increase Soul Reaper a bit. Later on, you will want to have Soul Reaper very, very high level, several thousands. General rule, like, uh, to have Soul Reaper four times more than your basic level. Yeah, <laughs> so, so it's a very long, long game, <laughs> as you may notice, and very complex one. So, uh, first Lump of Spectre, some power points in Soul Reaper, and you try... Uh, some priority artifacts, it's artifacts, uh, for example, this one, Qatar, because it increases critical hit chance, it's very important in PvP, it will give you possibility to win uh, battles very easily. So, reducing uh, abilities, this one good artifact, so you, you should increase it as fast as you could. This one also uh, quite good artifact. Skill artifacts, just level up all skill artifacts, uh, which you could till level 30, it's very good to level up. Uh, some artifacts, they are quite controversial. So, for example, Runestone X, it's kind of, at the beginning, it's all right to uh, level up it, but later on, as you will see at my DPS, you could watch that, uh, yeah, level later on, it will start to reduce your DPS, actually. So, at certain moment, it will uh, increase your DPS, and then you should level up, and then after some time, it will start to reduce your DPS uh, because uh, um, of this mechanic decrease one percent every ten levels of artifacts upgrade. So, uh, also some artifacts they have very high levels, and you would just uh, yeah also level up them, but they are not critical. So the most important artifacts. At first, it's uh, for PvP, critical and critical hit damage. Uh, then uh, artifacts which give skill bonus. And yeah, this gold, magic bag, for the beginning of the game, it's very useful. You could also, it's very easy to make it maximum level. I mean, quite fast you will do it. Uh, controversial artifacts, uh, the, I'll say, let's, let's start with low priority cursed amulet it's low priority um, uh, artifact don't bother to level up it even maybe at first uh, because if you will join the clan clan will have special talent which will protect you from pvp battles when other players attack you uh, so yeah this crystal of time uh, gold artifacts they're quite good they're good so the most important artifacts it's skill artifacts uh, artifacts for PvP, critical hit damage, critical damage, click uh, damage for PvP. And others, uh, they are kind of medium priority. Medium priority. And later on, yeah, you could uh, put stuff to your DPS artifacts. Because, yeah, you see, if they, well, you, while you see that it's uh, increasing your DPS, you could go, go it. Um, but the thing is that you should remember that your souls, they give you 10% DPS. So when you spend your uh, souls, it reducing your DPS. Just watch at it. I spend 2000 souls and my DPS go down. You see? You see? 7. Now it's 6, 8. Why? Because every soul gives 10, uh, give you 10% DPS bonus. So... Mm, these artifacts with DPS bonuses, they are not so powerful as you could think they are. Now PvP artifacts. PvP artifacts, uh, they are quite straightforward. There are only six of them, so uh, the faster you will buy them, the better. So it will uh, remove from the slot and it will be easier for you to roll proper artifacts. So you just buy all um, PvP artifacts as fast as you could and uh, uh, level up Bloody Qatar 
successful PvP, uh, most successful PvP, bloody Polyrex, uh, very good artifact. Uh, so yeah, this bloody doll, it's all right. Uh, bloody glove, it's all right. And eventually you will start to just finish what you could, like bloody pot, or you could go for a bloody X for DPS bonus. But if, as you could see, uh, it's kind of very low. It's super low uh, bonus, so you uh, you, you will, wouldn't meet, wouldn't see much difference later on. Another good uh, advice, by the way, uh, is you if if you watched my previous uh, video, uh, let me return back to my uh, newbie character. It's to buy Soul Totem. Soul Totem. Soul Totem. It's uh, the hero, uh, which you would be able to get through the shop uh, after you make your first uh, dark ritual. So here, it was so long ago when I just started to play, but I think, yeah, it's here for 50 souls. So the thing is that uh, your first 50 souls, it's very good idea to spend them at this artifact because it will give you just uh, not big, but certain bonus to so, so you, you should buy it. You could consider this hero like an artifact. Do not level up it. Because I made myself, I made a mistake. I leveled up this artifact and it's quite um, pointless. <laughs> uh, I mean, do not increase its rarity. Later on, I'll speak a lot about rarities because it's the most important thing about this game. So, when you just started to play, you... Uh, let's see. Ah. Yeah, so you you should uh, level up your um, artifacts. You should buy uh, good ones. So, for example, this one bad, as I said, and you should like uh, choose which one to buy. This one is better. But yeah, see, I do not have any souls left at my alt account. So, as I said before, you receive ev two souls every uh, two hundred levels, which you um, spend which you put to your hero. So at the first, when you just start to play, uh, you should try to level up your heroes before the reset. You should try to level up them as high as you could. Uh, so you see, 20, look, 20, 22, 23, 28, you see? So th this way, by just level upping your heroes, you, um, you just uh, could get plenty of souls to buy your first artifacts. And you should be especially careful with one artifact, which is called Special Portal. It's super useful, because each time when you level up, you start after Dark Ritual at highest level, so you need you could reduce green, but if you will put it too high, you will stack and yeah, it wouldn't be nice. I prepared for you this uh, small list. For a new player, I mean, before you start, it, before you get like level um, 2500, this will be enough for you. So there are four values which you could put special portal. When you're just new player, like uh, you just started uh, till uh, level 1000, you could uh, put it to level 39, but you should be super careful because uh, with this special portal, you should uh, also level up magic back, or you could stack. So I made the video about it. You could watch it at my channel. And uh, so be careful. Later on, a good put, good uh, level to set up it. It's spec uh, level sixty-eight because there will. Spectres appear, which give you um, bosses, which give you souls. Uh, then there is a, a lot of end game players. They put portal to this value because at this value you will have nice rare zone to get holograms, which you will need. This is a drop which you need at end game. And uh, just um, if you just want to get as much souls as you could you wanted to put it as high as you could and next good value this one so you will uh, pass 
the le level 666. So you will start at 667. So you will pass uh, clicking in Inferno level. I'll later on I'll show you to you. Just you always could watch this video to check this small list and uh, choose. So you when you just start to play, do not uh, do not level a special port at all before you just like like level uh, 500. Just forget about it. And the last artifact uh, which will be promoted to you by the game it's this legendary sword of doom which give you certain dps bonus but actually it's very small dps bonus so do not buy it it doesn't cost it only if you are like collector or you want to support developers but actually it's better to support them by buying something else so there are plenty of stuff you could uh, you could buy and the best it's to buy potions of course so uh, um, just forget about this plate <laughs> it would it, it won't uh, appear you later on so uh, thank you very much for watching i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see next videos i'll make more guides about dungeon crusher next time i think we will talk about uh bosses yes uh, increasing rarity of heroes is the most important concept i think so don't forget to subscribe bye bye